I enjoy cooking, but I do not enjoy going to the grocery store. Oh my God, my fridge is a mess. Not the most filled fridge, but it's better than it looked. <laughs> so today I'm gonna cook something easy. So tonight I was really feeling some jambalaya. I might actually do it. But first I gotta clean my freaking kitchen because I have not been here in seven days, guys. I went to a wedding. Yeah, I let this place go before I left. And I'm a Virgo, you know how embarrassing this is? Okay, that looks way better. For some reason, I don't know if it's the Virgo in me or what, I can't cook and I can't eat without like a clean environment. And I definitely can't eat without watching something in a clean environment. Like I always gotta have a movie, TV show, whatever. So yeah, let's get on to the jump line, baby. Woo! So one of my friends got married a couple days ago. That's why I was out of town, flew all the way to Jersey. And being there, it was like, it was good catching up with everybody. Good seeing my friends. Everybody's in freaking relationships. Except for my single butt. I hope I make this cornbread good because this is my first time making cornbread. It says we only need one egg and that's all I have left is one egg. So, whew. Thank bejeebus. <sighs> but yeah, everybody was freaking, everybody was freaking uh, taken. Except for me and a couple other friends. Now look, I've been in a five year relationship. You all know that. I'm praying that comes out good. Yeah, everybody was taken, and I'm the only one single. And you know, my mom and everybody else always ask me, when you gonna bring home a girl? When you gonna do that? After a five year relationship, you wanna chill for a little bit. Find out yourself, you know what I mean? Study a little bit what you want in a partner, you know what I mean? And that's what I've been doing. I mean, if I don't get to my full potential, how do I know what type of woman fits my life? You know what I mean? So I just been being focused, working, getting to the bag and hitting goals. That's that's the only plan. Like, taking care of myself, my hygiene, making a routine, just doing all that stuff just to get me to my peak or to my full potential. And I'm far from it. I still got a lot of work to do. So, and you always hear these gurus and stuff like that on, on YouTube saying, don't get into a relationship until you're ready. Don't get into a relationship until you got X and X and X done, until you got this, this, that, until you got investments and all this other stuff. And that's been what I've been big on this whole time. If a girl ever comes into my life, I wanna be able to have fun with her, like and make her life amazing. And I want her to come in and make my life amazing. I wanna be able to take her on them trips and dates that she loves. I wanna be able to settle down and get a house when we want to. So that's why I've been patiently, patiently, Waiting. It's hard out here though, because Valentine's Day just passed. There's so many fine women out there, but you never know, you know what I mean? I could talk all this crap today, and then tomorrow I see a girl that I fall head over heels for, and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm uh, tied down. Tied down by your auntie. People just jump from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. And I'm looking at them like, how do y'all do that? All the time, every time. And you gotta reset, then you gotta reset, then you gotta reset. I can't do that. I don't want to do that at all. That's why I've only been in like one relationship and that was a five year relationship. And then after that, my next one, that's the only one I'm going to be with. That's the only one I'm going to put all that work into. You know what I mean? That My next one, my last one, I'm not into this getting hella girlfriends and blah, 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 blah. So that's why I'm patient. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to waste my time. I went to, um, and it was a different wedding and we went to a bachelor party and it was fun as heck. And there was this girl that lived in the area. I was like, dang, she cute, she bomb. Personality seems cool. Can you eat this? This battery? <laughs> this is bad to eat. Cornbread batter tastes good as that. <laughs> Yo, this batter tastes good, dog. <laughs> but yeah, this was like last year or a year and a half ago. I was like, okay, I'm gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna actually put down the effort and, and take this girl on a date. I asked her what's her favorite food. Asked her if she wanted to go on a date. No, first of all, I wanted to chill. So it was just, let's go to Dave and Buster's, let's have fun. I feel like fun dates, where you actually be a physical, are better than um, dinner dates. Because if it, the funness fills in the awkwardness. It's fun to fill in the empty conversations with fun, playtime, flirtiness, you know what I mean? Let me beat you in basketball real quick, girl, bye-bye, boom. That day when I wanted to go, she was not available. Like she was like, she was like, I'm free. And then later that night, she was like, I'm not free. She said, let's chill tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, let's chill tomorrow. I'm like, how about this? We go on a real date. 
Cause I was I was thinking maybe she didn't want to go on a freaking maybe I'm too maybe I'm too childish for her. <laughs> so I I asked her a favorite food. I called a bomb restaurant, like a five star restaurant, great reviews. You had to like reserve. I called it. Called it the night she didn't hang with me. And I said, We'll schedule for tomorrow night at eight. I called them, scheduled it, bomb bomb. I got the nice clothes. I went I went shopping because I didn't have the, the I didn't have dinner attire at a bachelor party. I didn't have so I went and bought my nice little nice little shirt. I call. I text her. Oh, you ready for the night? No answer. It comes almost like an hour before. I'm like, I don't got a car down here, I gotta get a luxury Uber. I'm like, blah blah blah. So I hit her up, are you ready? No answer. Two, three hours pass, I'm like, damn. <laughs> Still be up. The next day, um, she hit me with the, oh, I fell asleep, I'm sorry, let's chill next time you're down. It is, it is what it is, girl, it is what it is. Nah, but that's cool, um, I, I didn't hit her up after that. I've never been trying to get with her again. Cool, you know, we cool. Once once I put in a little bit of effort and you don't, you don't meet me halfway or anything like that, I'm dead, I'm done. Cause that's red flag. You put your energy and time into something and you being serious and then that person doesn't respect your time. You gotta move on. You can't be like, oh, maybe next time, yeah, we can't go on a date. You know what I mean? Or maybe she was sleeping. Nah, you gotta dead that right there. So yeah, I never hit her up again. On to the next. That's how I am with usually anything. Like anything that's not putting in the same, anybody that's not putting in the same effort I'm putting in, I'm deading it. I know y'all like nigga, it's just cornbread. Say if there's a fence and the fence is you and 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 somebody else or, or them being single. You don't want somebody dangling on the fence trying to figure out where they need wanna be. You want somebody who knows which side they're on. Which knows which side they wanna be on. You know what I mean? And that's that's how I'm living things now. I know cooking can be a mess, but the key is to clean while you're cooking. So while you're waiting for the food to cook, while you're waiting for all the sizzle down and stuff, you want to be cleaning up, putting up spices. It can get tiring, but at the end of the day, man, that's the same thing with art. I feel like cooking, cooking has to be an art, right? Cooking is definitely art. Even with like painting and stuff, you have to clean up the paint, clean up the paint brushes, clean up the cups, all that stuff. So, you know, that's, that's the part of art. <laughs> I want it a little more thick, so we're gonna wait till it thickens up a little more. Really have my mom to judge my stuff but you guys let me know did i burn it a little bit too much let's go some people say they never eat cornbread with uh jambalaya you have to try it i'm about to show you the best part of having cornbread with jambalaya so see i put some spices in here you know what i mean Ooh. oh you see that steam coming out yeah i know y'all see that on camera um mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is the best part you take your sweet cornbread. I did a good job. And you just sprinkle it all on. You break your cornbread on because it's sweet. And the sweet and spiciness of the jambalaya and the cornbread mixes together. And it's so hit, baby. It is so hit. All right, I'm about to watch Snowfall. I just wanted to show y'all this. Mmm. <laughs> That's hit. I wish y'all could try this. I really want y'all to try this. <laughs> I get really, really proud of myself when I cook something good. Because there's a lot of times when I cook something bad. <laughs> but I'm very proud of this one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, at the end of the day, just because I said I'm focused on me and improving my life and being the best I can for me. 
um, in my future doesn't mean I'm completely off of dating. Because a lot of people think I just don't want to date anybody. If the right shorty comes along and we vibe, I'll be good to go. You know what I mean? Because you can, you can grow with a shorty, man. You can get yourself a girl and still grow. And y'all can work together as a team. That's your new business partner. But out of my top five priorities, having a girlfriend is not even on the top five. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> If anybody got a single auntie though, holla at me, you know what I'm saying? Where all the single aunties at? I think it's important to know what you want um, before you get in a relationship, know what to avoid, and, and don't just use relationships as a way to get feeling <clears throat> or to, a way to feel a loneliness. Cause you're never alone when you, you can't be alone if you love the person you're alone with. And that's what I've learned. So always learn to love yourself first and you'll never feel alone <clears throat> i mean i'm in vegas i don't have no family here they're all in jersey and i don't feel alone i, I love my company i love cooking you know what i mean uh and it's probably because i like being alone I don't, I don't text nobody but um yeah that's been today's video let me know if you want more of these type of videos y'all um and i'll bring them to y'all thumbs up this video love y'all peace